Superman American Fantasy Adventure, a series of black and white films that first appeared in 1938 and consists of 15 parts. Directors were Thomas Carr and Gordon Bennett. Kate Allen became the first actor to play Superman. The film was a huge financial success. The series was shown on the screens of cinemas. This was the first time the series was shown on the big screen. After the success of the first film adaptation in 1950, Columbia Pictures released a new 15-episode film, Atom Man, This is Superman, starting the same Cag Allen, directed by Gordon Bennett. Critics described it as much more devious and gadget-addicted than the first Superman series. In addition, they also found that he, quote, is spoiled by the same cheapness of Catman. In 1951, despite the hero's sufficient popularity, the studio was not yet ready to invest big money in the production of a new film adaptation. Superman and the Mole Man was filmed in 12 days. The film was directed by Lee Tabor Shulman. The main role in the production was given to George Reeves, who later became the living embodiment of the character for many years. After that, a series consisting of six seasons of the Adventures of Superman is released on the screens with the same actor George Reeves. The first and second seasons of the series were in black and white. Subsequent seasons were released in color. On the big screen in 1978 comes the film Superman. The film was directed by Richard Donner. The role of Superman was offered to Robert Robert Redford. He was offered a large amount, but he felt that he was too famous for this role. But Reynolds also turned out the role. Sylvester Stallone was also a candidate for the role. He was interested, but nothing came of it. Paul Newman also declined. Although the fee offered was over $18 million, adjusted for 2023 inflation. After the refusal, many famous actors refused. Over 200 unknown actors auditioned for the role of Superman. The American casting director first suggested the unknown actor Christopher Reeve, but the director and producers felt that he was too young and thin. In addition to him, Perry King, Lyle Wagoner, Christopher Walken and Arnold Schwarzenegger were considered candidates. The role eventually went to Christopher Reeve. The budget was $55 million and the box office was $300 million. At the Academy Awards, Superman won for visual effects and was nominated for Best Sound, Best Editing and Best Original Score. During the filming of Superman, the producers forced Donna to stop production on the sequel and finish the first film first. At that time, principal photography of Superman 2 was 75% complete. The sequel went down in history as the only Superman movie to be directed by two directors. Despite the commercial success of the original film, Donnie didn't return to complete play the sequel and was replaced by Richard Lester, who had to reshoot a huge amount of footage to get his name to appear in the credits as director. As Richard Donner later started, about 25% of his footage footage was included in the final cut of the film. In 2006, Warner Brothers released a special version of the film called Richard Donner's Cut that used 83% of the director's original footage and filled in the remaining gaps with scenes from Richard Lester's cut. The budget was $54 million and the box office was $119 million. Critics gave the film positive reviews. Director Richard Lester and actor Christopher Reeve continued to collaborate with the Warner Brothers to release Superman 3 on a $39 million budget, with a box office gross of $80,200,000. The film received mostly mixed reviews from LDNs and critics. This was followed by the release of Superman 4 in Search of Space, directed by Sidney J. Fury with a budget of $70 million and a box office of $36 million. Superman 4 failed. Critics gave the film the most negative reviews. The consensus is that this is where the Superman series ends. The action is boring, the special effects look cheap, and none of the actors show any interest in the plot. In 1988, the television series Superboy was released. The project coincided with the 50th anniversary of Superman with young actor John Hames. 
Chris Newton playing Clark Kent. But after the first season, the producers dissatisfied with the acting of the actor politely asked him to retire. Beginning with the second season, the main role was played by Jared Christopher. Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman premiered on ABC in 1993. This time, Dean Cain donned the Superman cape. Dean Kane was the first actor to audition for the part. The show's creators first suspended him when he was too young and told the casting director that they were looking for Superman, not Superboy. Small Whale came out in 2001. It was the longest-running series of 10 episodes. The premiere of the first series took place on the American television channel The WB. Jensen Ackles and Milo Ventimiglia were considered for the role of Clark Kent, but the role went to Tom Welling. The series has been nominated many times for the Saturn Award in various categories. In 2002 and 2006, he received a Primetime Emmy Award for outstanding sound editing for a series. The audience warmly welcomed the series. In 2006, Superman Returns was released. The film was a direct sequel to Superman 2, starring Christopher Reeve. The film completely ignored the existence of Part 3 and 4 of the movie series. Directed by Brian Singer, Tom Welling, Sam Hewen, and Chris Pratt were considered for the role of Superman, as well as Henry Cavill, but the cape was won by Brandon Routh. Dana Reeve, Christopher Reeve's wife, found Routh's physical resemblance to her late husband striking. It had a budget of $223 million, a box office gross of $391 million. Most reviews of the film were positive, but Warner Brothers were dissatisfied with the global collection of the picture. In 2008 and 2009, Warner Brothers announced the film as a complete reboot of the Superman story. And now, in all the cinemas of the world, in 2013 comes the Man of Steel in the DC Extended Universe. Darren Aronofsky, Duncan Jones, Jonathan Lipsman, Matt Reeves and Ben Affleck were considered to direct the film, but he turned it down because he had no visual effects experience. Zack Snyder was Larry Hyde as director. Matthew Good, Amy Hame, Matt Baume, Joey Manganella, Zac Efron and Colin O'Donoghue were all considered for The Man of Steel. Brandon Routh expressed interest in reprising his character and Zack Snyder stated that the film wouldn't be linked to any previous cinematic incarnation of the character. The role eventually went to Henry Cavill. It had a budget of $225 million, a box office gross of $668 million. Critics gave the film positive reviews. The breathtaking action and spectacle of Man of Steel can't get past the usual blockbusters. Later, in 2016, a sequel to Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice was released. The budget was $250 million. Worldwide collections totaled $873 million. Upon release, the film received mostly negative reviews from critics. Later, an extended version of the film was released, which corrected a number of shortcomings of the film version. It received more positive reviews. Justice League was released in 2017. Director Zack Snyder, who was in a post-production, left the project for family reason. Joseph Widom stood at the helm instead, with the film's budget increased to $300 million. The worldwide gross income in $657 million. The film received mixed reviews from critics, who praised the action scenes and acting, but criticized the story. The Arrowverse is a fictional universe created by the CW called Crisis of Infinity Years. Tyler Hochland reappears as Superman. In in addition to him, Brandon Ruth appeared in the television series as Superman and 2006 Tom Welling of Smallville. 2021 on the CW, the television series Superman and Lois is released. Tyler Hodgland has been signed to reprise his role as Clark Kent from the 2015 television series Supergirl. Reviews from critics received generally positive reviews. In 2021, Justice League debuted on HBO Max as the first most watched movie of the year on the service. Following the release of Snyder's Cut, fans took to social media to express their love and appreciation for the film. Black Adam 2022, directed by Joan Collett Sarah, Henry as Superman appears in a post-credits scene. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.